Man is always had a desire to explore what was around him. This strong desire made it possible for some journeys to become so famous for hot history that they are now part of who we are. The still has an inclination to travel and have adventures. Nowadays, a lot of people have the opportunity through travel, be it for work, pleasure or necessity. However, we now found ourselves in a situation in which we cannot travel, not even to the places that are closest to us. We cannot leave our own houses and so we are robbed of important life experiences. Reading has always been the best way to travel with our own minds. It is a way to withdraw from reality, living someone else's life in some other place and time for a little while. Since journeys are important and exciting parts of our lives, men have started to write books that narrate those adventures, may they be real or imaginary. We all know voyages like Ulysses in the Odyssey, where after the Trojan War he endures a 12-year journey to go back to his family, and the journey of the prince in The Little Prince, where he undertakes a long adventure to find something that can save his planet. A common trope for these two literary journeys is the strong will of the protagonist to go back home, despite everything that happened throughout the course of the story. Ulysses could have remained in one of the welcoming places he visited, while The Little Prince could have chosen to stay on Earth with the fox. Why go home then? In this precarious situation, we don't understand why one would make such decisions. We only set off to far away destinations without looking back. Ulysses and the, will and the little prince as well always said something to go back for. And we can find some food for thought regarding our own situation and how to see it in a better light if we really look into the stories. In fact, our house is not a glass prison in which we are confined. It is instead the abode we share with the people we love. They are what we always we they are what we always come back for, just like Ulysses for Penelope and the prince for his rose. This is an occasion to take care of the relationship we have with our own family, dedicating to it the time we did not have before, as we were busy with our own hectic everyday life. We don't have anyone else apart from our beloved ones to face this situation with. The time we spend together has an enormous value. We also have the opportunity to settle the differences that might have originated throughout the years when we were too busy with our own activities to notice them and sort them out. If we communicate with others and improve the compatibility we have with them, we may also have the opportunity to look deeper into ourselves in order to better understand who we are and what we really like. Before we didn't have the time to stop and think about our well-being, but now we can try and learn how to love and accept ourselves. Moreover, if we take a break from our routine, we can, we can understand what we actually enjoy or don't enjoy doing, and make new discoveries about our interests, our needs and our dislikes. If we work on ourselves and on our relationship with the people closest to us, it will do us good not only at the present moment, but also in the future. After all, these things will stick with us for the rest of our lives, no matter what.